Well, now at five communities hurt working to heal after violence on Tallahassee South Side, including a deadly stabbing that turned into an officer involved shooting. Tonight, we have team coverage of that officer-involved shooting. In just a few minutes, ABC 27's Jada Williams shows us how an organization in the Bond community is trying to strengthen relationships to end violence. But first, Chantel Navarro joins us live from Gadsden County tonight, where a vigil is planned for the man killed in that deadly stabbing connected to the officer-involved shooting. For the second time this week, the family of Malik Jackson will gather to remember the 21 year old and tonight they're asking for, for the community to pray for everyone involved. On Wednesday morning, he was sitting in his car right there in the driveway. Abigail Jackson says police found her son Malik Jackson stabbed lying in a grassy area off Saxon Street on Tallahassee South Side. All I can say is once TPD finished the investigation, there will be a lot of information that will come out. Um, that will actually calm down the community because there's, there's so much more to the story than what the videos are showing and mental illness is real. Tallahassee police say Natosha McDade, who goes by Tony, stabbed the 21-year-old. Police caught up with the 38-year-old at the Leon Arms apartment complex. That's where they say McDade was shot after pointing a gun at an officer. Now, days later, Malik's father, Antonio Brown, is left with a lot of questions on what led up to his son's death. Directly, I don't think they had any dealings with each other. I guess it's other stuff that transpired and it uh, some kind of way pulled him into it. Parents surrounded by family, leaning on their faith to get through it all. Pray for both families, not only for my family, but pray for Ms. Wanda. Because she's going through it. She lost, she lost her child as well. Tonight's vigil starts at 7.30 p.m. here at Malik's grandparents' house. In Chattahoochee, Chantal Navarro, ABC 27.